Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chad with CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's Head Shave. Today, we're going to start right in with the holiday of the day. Today is Happy Martin Luther King Day. That's what we call it here in New Hampshire. So if you folks are not working, enjoy your days off and endure, enjoy your shaves, whether you're a lady or a man. All right, let's get right into the shave. Today, we are reviewing Black Ship Grooming Captain's Pipe. I've wanted this one for a while, and I've uh, been really, really eyeing it. I ended up getting it as a Secret Santa gift from the Shave Market Facebook group. And I've used it for a little while and really like it and wanted to profile it. So here we go with that. That's this, the label right here. As far as the soap is concerned, I just have it blooming. I'm gonna dump the bloom water to our scuttle. That's what it looks like right there. All bloomed, rocking and rolling, and ready to go. Far as the shave gear is concerned, let's get right into the shave brush. We've got our synthetic West Coast shaving. This is a two-tone tall, say that three times fast, two-tone tall shave brush, synthetic knot. It is a second generation boss knot. Let's get right into the razor. This is actually the mule, <clears throat> excuse me, R41, sitting on top of the Mercur, I'm sorry, the Parker 24C handle. I really like the knurling on this handle. It offers a good weight to the mule head, and uh, I wasn't really pleased with the head or the handle that came with the Mule R41. It doesn't have a very good grip on it, and it's kind of light for my taste. As far as the blade is concerned, Paul Silver Blade right here. This is a blade for those of you that want to know, happens to be on our second use. For the aftershave, this is what's pretty interesting too. It comes in for an optional skull decanter. You get this from Black Ship Grooming. You can see it's right there. This also came as part of the Secret Santa gift. And uh, as you can see, it's got a plastic screw top on it with the, um, the stopper that can be pulled right out of there and then reset <clears throat> once you refill it. So you can really fill this with anything, uh, but this was obviously filled with the aftershave for Captain's Pipe, and that's what we're using. This is kind of a porcelain, uh, so, and I also would be careful with this around your sink. It does not have any kind of a textured bottom. I mean, it kind of has some bumps here, but it doesn't really hold it well on a porcelain sink, so I would suggest not using it on straight porcelain because it slides around easily. Or I would use something like this, which is just a, uh, it's cabinet uh, liner. I took this out, I got this at Walmart, cut it to, to, to fit, and you can throw it right on top of that to keep it from sliding around. So we've got our aftershave, <clears throat> we've got our water that's hot, we've got our brush, we've got our soap that's bloomed. Let's go ahead and give this soap brush a load with the captain's pipe, and we'll be right back. In 1720, pirates occupied a location on the Belize River known as the Bacardaris. It was this area that modern archaeologists located many artifacts, 36% of which were pipes. Archaeologists and historical records make pipe smoking synonymous with pirates and pirate captains. Here we have Captain's Pipe by Black Ship Grooming. This vegan-based shave soap has a rather lumbering scent of cherry and tobacco. Placed in a four ounce plastic tub with a screw top lid and waterproof label, this exceptionally scented soap can be had for $15 even. The matching lightly mentholated aftershave has a scent that is on par with the soap and is available for $19.50. Black Ship's aftershaves come standard in a four ounce frosted glass bottle, but can be switched out for an appropriately themed black skull decanter. All three items are available at blackshipgrooming.com. And for more information on Black Ship Grooming itself, check out my other soap review videos on their products. What makes this scent profile different is the total lack of smoke. It focuses on the flavor of cherry tobacco only and nothing else. That coupled with the heaviness of the scent itself makes this booty something to risk walking the plank over. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. There's the soap again, another screenshot or another shot of this. As far as the scent strength is concerned, I definitely give this an eight or nine at least. I really like, I really like this because I don't, not the biggest thing I like about this captain's pipe is there's a lot of pipe scented uh, brands out there. This one I like is it does not hold a smoke scent to it. It's strictly the tobacco, which I like. I'm not much of, a, I'm not a smoker at all. 
but I do like the smell. This has got a nice tobacco and cherry scent to it. That's all it's really got going on, and that's all it needs. So, I'm definitely high on the scent strength scale. We are all lathered, ready to go with that. As far as lathering is concerned, yeah, the, the strength, the scent strength drops down a little bit, I suppose, maybe a couple of notches, but it is definitely still there, and we are talking about a good, uh, again, tobacco and cherry scent. So, <clears throat> remember, folks, this is not a cologne, it's just a shave soap, so I don't expect it to be really high in the scent strength, just enough to kind of give you something to appreciate the soap uh, with while you shave. So, having said that, <clears throat> Let's wet the head and get this shave happening. gentlemen we are back we had a fantastic head shave as you can see dop status dome of perfection no nicks cuts areas of irritation smooth as glass we're just gonna throw some cold water in our head here and hit it with the allen block while we talk about the post shave so this soap is uh is true to black ship groomings performance on the other soaps that I've tried with theirs works great. I have no complaints. I've used it for a little while now and I found that it works just as well as any of the other soaps and as it should it's the same base. So as far as the scent is concerned, the scent strength does really remain pretty strong throughout the shave. It doesn't fade at all uh, which is nice. It makes the shave just that much more enjoyable and you really kind of sets it up to look forward to the aftershave. So what we're gonna do in that, speaking of the aftershave, we're gonna jump right into that. I'm just gonna take a minute and rinse the alum off my head, and then we'll finish up the shave. Okay, the alum has been rinsed off my head. We have here our skull decanter and the aftershave. I found that the aftershave does last quite a long time throughout the day. I get about three or four hours out of it, which is pretty long for an aftershave. And if you want longer, just take it with you and reapply. So we'll throw some of this on here. Again, I have talked about matching of the soap. Some aftershaves don't really match the soaps all that well. Some have certain notes that are higher than others. This one, as far as I'm concerned, right off is an exact match, which is great. Smells awesome, which is really, really great. I found that after about the third or fourth hour of the day, sometimes you start to get a hint of a little bit of dirt in there, in there but it's not terrible by any means. It just kind of is what you get is the last note before the uh, aftershave starts to really fade away. But again, Reminder is not a cologne, but it is definitely a nice scented aftershave. I really like this a lot, and this is definitely something I will be reaching for quite a lot in my shaving endeavors. All right, 
So that's the shave, ladies and gentlemen. It is a tobacco cherry scented soap, and I do like it quite a bit. If you folks have any questions about any of my soaps that I've reviewed, or profiled for that matter, especially this one, put it in the comment section below. I'll get back to it as soon as I can. And those of you that have any experience with Black Ship Grooming's stuff in general, throw it in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Good, bad, or indifferent, we can talk it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you shave today, have a great rest of the day and have a great shave. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let's get that ticker going. But more importantly, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Make sure you knock that bell. That way you get a new notification every time we do a video here at CD Shaven. Folks, I am Chad. Thank you very much for joining me. We'll see you guys and girls in the next video.